Megan Stouter and today we're going to be exploring the difference of the 2022 New Air 3543. So for this year the New Air actually takes on a full life cycle change which is its first life cycle change since its induction in 2018. I'm going to go ahead and start on the exterior because there's a lot of cool features that we want to point out here. First and foremost what you're going to see is going to be our new bonded panoramic windows. So these windows are going to come around and do a complete 360 view of your entire coach and these points are going to meet at a construction post here and they're going to com go completely all the way around so i'll have you follow me and just bring it all the way this way so again you see the new bonded panoramic windows along with that is going to be one of our new um, standard optional exterior graphics here so this paint graphic is going to be our sparta graphic and then again with the new paint change it's also going to have the new design graphics as well moving around to our front cap here so following the life cycle change for 2022 we are going to have newly designed front caps and rear caps as you can see you have your large uh, front windshield something you can option in is going to be a temporary windshield protection that just helps in transit going down to the dealership and to the retail. Along with that, what you're gonna see here, obviously this is super taped up. Um, this is actually because it is a stainless steel trim kit and what we don't want is that to be damaged in transit down to the dealer. So that's gonna stay protected. But underneath here is going to be a Newmar badge plate and that's actually gonna be LED lights. We're gonna go ahead and move over here to our side mirrors. So those are gonna come with auto defrost it's gonna be um, remote controlled, and then it's also gonna have your side cameras, which is actually gonna be featured down here. And we're gonna go ahead and continue just going on here. So on the door side, you're gonna have a assist door handle. For safety, you can put in your own pin or passcode, and it also has a doorbell, so if you have neighbors or guests, they can easily do that. And then again, that just provides an enhanced safety feature. We're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. So you're gonna see the automatic steps come out. Again, you're gonna see protection as this is gonna be transported down to our dealers. Something I wanna point out though, is you're gonna have storage in the seats here. So if you have any dirty shoes or anything that you just might need, there's gonna be two of those up there. And then you're also gonna have power unlock baggage doors. So to unlock those, there's gonna be a switch next to your passenger door. I'm gonna go ahead and click it unlocked. I wanna go ahead and point out this little number here underneath our assist door handle and doorbell. So what you're gonna see is the 3543, which I just mentioned is what we're exploring today. So the 35 is actually going to be the length of the coach and the 43 is going to be that designated floor plan. Again, as we mentioned on the other side in our intro, you're gonna see the bonded window over here. So this wraps around and again meets at that structural post. We're gonna go ahead and open up our bays as we unlock them inside. Um, starting here though, you're gonna have your diesel fuel tank. So this is gonna be dual sided, so you don't have to worry about um, moving around if you are in a gas station or truck stop. Here in bay one, you're just gonna have an empty bay, which is gonna be plenty of storage. What you're gonna see here is going to be um, about a one inch bat foam insulation. Moving into bay two, you're gonna have a manual pull-out tray, which I'll demonstrate for you. So that's gonna come out, and then you can simply just put that back in. Moving into bay three, you're gonna have another manual tray. As you can see, um, this is a full pass-through bay. It's not a full pass-through tray, so this one will come out. And then you can obviously put that back in. And then I just want to point out real quick. So as you'll see is you're going to see four wrapped tile planks there. So if in, in transit or anything happens um, and the floor breaks inside, we provide that as a courtesy here at Newmar. And then the fourth bay, so you all, you'll see that there's not a handle on the outside. There's going to be a black lever here and you're just going to simply press that down and that opens back up for you. And again, you're gonna have another manual tray here. 
And as we're exploring Bay 3 and Bay 4 here, I want to go ahead and point out one of our features of our Star Foundation. Um, it's one of the many few that you can see um, actually visible. So you're going to see this diagonal trust here. So what you're seeing is that diagonal trust in being a part of the Star Foundation, which stands for strong, true, and robust. What that diagonal trust does is essentially takes all of the weight of the exterior and recenters that back into the middle, which continues to keep the strength and integrity of your coach. So here at Newmar, we came up with the Star Foundation uh, thanks to our head engineer, Ron Stichter. Um, basically what we do is we bring in, whether it's a Freightliner or Spartan chassis, depending on what your option in here, um, we build that Star Foundation directly onto that chassis and then everything up from that. And again, what, I, what it does is it takes all the vibrations or noise and it takes it back into the center and just keeps you true and straight and strong with um, all the integrity that we could bring here at Newmar. Something you can also option in is going to be our exterior entertainment system and your sidewall here. So what's going to be featured is going to be a 43 inch Samsung TV along with a Bose soundbar. Over here you're going to have two 110 outlets along with two USB outlets. I'll point out this panel here. So what you're seeing is obviously you can keep the TV off. If you have it on the speaker, you can do what's coming out of the TV if you're watching a football game on Saturday, or if you want to put on the dash radio, whatever is playing inside the coach can actually be displayed out here on the Bose soundbar as well. This is actually going to be extendable and tiltable, so we'll show that for you. Okay, so obviously you can see we pulled that out. You can move it back and forth. But what I want to point out is that you can actually tilt it if there's some sort of glare and you kind of need to adjust or if you're sitting in a chair and you don't want to strain your neck so much. So stick with me. So back here, you're going to have this black lever. So that's going to be in the locked position so you can't adjust it. As soon as you unlock that, you can actually go ahead and tilt it down and bring it back up again and again. And we'll just put it back into the locked position here. Moving into bay five here, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So you're just gonna see an empty storage space here. Um, you're gonna see a couple of outlets as well. Those are gonna be your two GFCI outlets along with a little bit of the brains of the operation. Above bay five here, you're gonna see a chrome and bezeled um, side light. And then you're also gonna have your patio light. And then just above your entertainment system here, again, which is optional, you're gonna have a camera which um, shoots back down into your 360 camera system, which is an option available to you. Moving on to bay six. Again, another empty bay storage. And then into the last bay here, you're gonna go ahead and have your chassis batteries. And before we move to the rear of the coach, I want to go ahead and point out that this coach actually has our optional Gerard package. So you're going to see Gerard window awnings, a Gerard awning over our entry door, along with two Gerard toppers up top, and then our slide out covers as well. And making our way to the rear of the coach here, as I mentioned before, with the life cycle change for 2022, our rear caps are going to be newly designed. You're also going to have access to your engine cage back here. You're going to have your rear camera, which again associates with your 360 camera. You're going to have your tow hitch ready to go. You're going to have a really pretty chrome Newmar uh, badge plate and mud flap. This new air has actually uh, come standard on our Freightliner chassis, which is a 450 power horsepower. What you can do is option in a Spartan if you choose, but this one's going to be built on our Freightliner custom chassis. Moving back this way. We're gonna go ahead and continue to focus on our off door side. So what you'll see here first and foremost is gonna be our side radiator. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and point out here that our slide outs are gonna be a flushed finish. So as you can see, um, if this was in, we'll put a picture in here, but when this comes into the coach, when this comes into the coach, you're gonna see that this is gonna be a flat flush finish. So that just keeps all of the air out and all of your heat in. Staying over here, you're gonna have your Def tank feel. Moving into the next one here, this is going to open up and this is going to be your waterworks system. So this comes new with a chrome steel plate. You're going to have a new waterworks uh, panel here, which is going to be digital. 
You're going to have an outdoor exterior shower. You're going to have your RV Santa Con system, your black and gray tanks. You're going to have your black and gray tank rinses. You're going to have your water tap. You'll have your city and tank fill uh, supply. You're also going to have obviously your cold and hot and then you're going to have a couple of hoses down here as well. We're going to go ahead and close this up and continue to move on. Up here you're going to have your secondary egress door. And then moving into here, so you're going to have a couple of items here. First and foremost, you're going to have your Oasis chin hook system, which new for 2022 is going to be a dual loop. You're going to have a 33 inch power rewind reel. So this is going to come out. This is what you're going to hook up to your campsite. And something nice is it's actually going to be um, power. So you don't have any manual. So we're just going to go ahead and retract it back in. Perfect. And then something you can also option is going to be the central back system. So that's going to be where this is located. So your inner back, when you are inside and you're sweeping it and all that dust and grime, it's going to come out to this off door side bay. You're going to have another manual slide here. This is going to be that full pass through bay, but again, it's going to be two separate slides. You're just gonna have a small compartment. If you have any muddy shoes or anything that maybe um, is gonna be a little bit more messy, that would be a good option to put that in. Here you're gonna have your house batteries. So if you ever have access to them, you're gonna see this pin that's gonna pull out and that tray is gonna come out for you. There's gonna be eight of those. And then as I mentioned on the other side, you're gonna have that dual sided fuel tank. So that's gonna be on this side. And then moving into the last bay here on the off door side, you're kind of just going to have, again, your switchboard. So you probably won't mess with this too much unless you come into service to see us or you have to stop by service. And then before we head inside, as I mentioned on the other side, you have your side cameras located right underneath your uh, side mirrors. Moving into the new Air 3543, what you're going to notice inside and out is going to be sexy and it's going to be sleek. So following the life cycle change as we did on the exterior, it's going to move into the interior here. So we're going to go ahead and focus on our cockpit area. So our captain seats are newly designed with the stitching and fabric that's going to be new for this year. Option in is going to be the Sparta interior, that which matches our Sparta exterior as well. Over here on our captain seats, what you're going to see is integrated seat belts. On our passenger seat, you're going to see this little chrome um, thing, which you're like, what's the point of this? So actually that um, will be retractable. And what you can do is it's going to be a passenger table. So you just have, it'll come with a chrome bar and you stick that in there and then you're going to have a table that's going to come out. Over here, what you can do is option in a passenger navigation system monitor over here. This does not come standard. You're going to have your cup holder. You're gonna have your slide out step button, which I'll demonstrate a wireless charger. And then new for this year is obviously not a ton of people like to be the same temperature. So what you can do is going to be a dual climate control up here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the slide out cover real quick. So if you're up here and you want a little bit of foot space here, you wanna step out onto it, that's gonna come out and then it's gonna come up. Perfect, so I'll step onto that, obviously, it works, it can hold me. Along with our captain seats, they're going to be six-way powered. So what you're gonna see is going to be a footrest, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate for us here. So it's gonna come out, you can obviously sit comfortably. Along with that, it's gonna come standard as heated captain seats as well. Our dash area is actually gonna be completely newly designed for the 2022 model year to follow that life cycle change. So what you're going to see is going to be a two-tone dash that's vinyl wrapped. You're also going to have your two new 10-inch Excite monitors. So what these come with is going to be our Nav and Go system. That's going to be our new navigation system for this year that takes away the old Ram McNally. What this does is you can simply type in your coach's dimensions 
and it'll find you the best route for you. Um, and obviously, again, just another enhanced safety feature here at Newmar. Following that, something you can option in is going to be the 360 camera. So what you're seeing here is going to be that rear camera that we touched on in the back. Staying focused up here, you're also gonna have your mobile eye system. So that's gonna help with your lane departure tracking and it's also gonna provide haptic feedback to your captain seat. So if you are maybe passing through a lane, it's gonna let you know and send vibrations that way. You're gonna have power shades. So you're gonna have a night shade and you're gonna have a day shade. Along with that, you're gonna have your digital dash up here, which is a nice sleek looking look. You're gonna have your push ignition start button. Obviously, if your keys are in here, it's gonna start for you. You're gonna have a wireless charging port here with your parking brake. And again, you're gonna have that dual climate up here, which you'll see right here available for your driver. You're gonna have a hydraulic leveling system. This one's also gonna be a power window. Um, so that's gonna be this button right here. Again, cup holders. And then you're also gonna have um, your JBL sound system throughout. So there's gonna be two speakers up front here, and then they're gonna be throughout the coach. Staying focused on here, you're gonna have your owner support. So if you're on the road and you have any issues or any questions about your coach, maybe you don't know how to work something that's a little bit more technical, I'd have a problem with that stuff. Um, you can just give them a call and they're brand specific so they'll know everything in and out of the new air. Let's say you're traveling on a Saturday. Most people have those days off. Um, lucky for us and lucky for our customers, we actually have a 24 seven service. So that'll rotate around on the weekends. So anybody will be there to um, accept your calls and help you out. A couple of enhanced safety features. We already touched on the mobile eye. What comes with the new air is also gonna be standard adaptive cruise control. You're gonna have collision, collision mitigation system, which you allows you to follow at three seconds, 3.3 or 3.6. This is also gonna come with our Comfort Drive. So something here at Newmar, um, not a lot of competitors actually have this or they only have it in their luxury top brands. We have it in all of our diesel, diesel pushers. So what you're gonna have with Comfort Drive and it's gonna, ha gonna be a computer system and what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down actually. So when you're driving and let's say you have some heavy crosswinds or you're going through the mountains and you're constantly having to tug on the steering wheel Obviously, if you're driving for eight or so hours, that's gonna cause muscle tension. You're gonna be a little bit more tired, a little bit more rigid. Obviously, what we want is this to resemble like a car. We want it to be as easy as driving an SUV. So what that Comfort Drive does is it takes in those crosswinds or a rounded road, and it basically moves the steering wheel for you. Um, it does that, it registers it every 10 seconds, and that way there's less tug and pull on your end. Before we move on from our cockpit area, I'm gonna go ahead and point up um, a couple of our cabinets up here. So what you're gonna see inside is going to be our optioned in Mink Rift Oaks. So this is gonna be a high gloss option. So what comes standard is gonna be our suede finish, which you'll see in the picture next to me. Um, you're gonna have your soft close cabinets. There's gonna be a ton of storage up here. Um, and then you're gonna have your newly designed chrome handles as well. Just above your driver's seat and dash, you're gonna have a bunch of control panels. So you're gonna have your slide outs, though it's gonna be your in and out. You're gonna have your privacy drapes, security lights, door awnings, and a couple of additional miscellaneous equipment items. And then over here, you're just gonna have a massive cabinet as well. It's gonna be the two shelves. And we're gonna go ahead and focus back here. So making our way into the interior of the new Air 3543. First, I wanna go ahead and point out is gonna be our new tile flooring. So this is gonna be your tile floor and it actually comes optional with electric heat, which this one does include. As I mentioned, it's gonna be a complete life cycle change. So that also includes your ceiling um, designed up here. You're gonna see your vents covering your ACs. Again, you're gonna have your mink rift oaks along with your door handles and a ton of storage. Our furniture for the 2022 new year is going to be our Williamsburg furniture. So that's actually made here in Napanee, Indiana, which is where we're located. Um, standard is gonna be your 87 inch visionary sofa. This is actually gonna be an extendable sleeper for you. I'm gonna go ahead and stay focused over here real quick. So what you'll see is going to be, as we mentioned on the outside, is going to be those bonded windows. So it's gonna be a complete panoramic view, much like a bus-like feel, and that's gonna come on to your structural post there. Behind your visionary sofa is going to be, um, on your right and left side, is going to be two 110V outlets as well. 
you'll see two ottomans here. So these actually are not standard. This is something that's available to you to option in. That's a very nice look if you like to have your feet up and relax. Moving over here to the your door side. Again, you're gonna have a massive, large bonded window here. This actually comes around to the corner and meets at that structural post right there on the left-hand side. You're gonna have a standard Euro booth. So with the storage, they're actually gonna be able to be pulled out. And you're gonna have a little bit of storage up top, but this completely comes out, and then you're gonna have that deep space right in front. And that's on both sides. This is actually an extendable table, so you can go ahead and pull this out until it locks. And then there's gonna be a leaf that comes out that's actually gonna be given to you underneath your bed inside. Um, but you can put that leaf in there, and then you have two additional folding chairs and that just adds for additional space and extra people. Just right behind your Euro booth here, you're gonna see this little raised solid surface piece. So that's actually gonna be your Televator. Um, using your KIB panel, you're gonna go into Home, you're gonna click on Systems, and you're gonna click TV Lift Up or TV Lift Down. For the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna keep it down, mostly because one of our biggest features and something we pride ourselves on with the new era life cycle change is gonna be those bonded and massive windows. And we wanna obviously keep that natural light in. But with that Televator, you're also gonna have your Bose soundbar above, and then you're gonna have your AV cabinet below. Along with that, something you can option in into your dry bar is actually going to be a fireplace. So this doesn't come standard, but it is an option. It's actually super pretty, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And it has different lights you can go through. It'll turn. Um, you can actually feel the heat coming out, and it's pretty powerful. Again, as I just said, you can see the rocks that are turning different colors. Above, you're going to have your china cabinet with your reeded glass. So that's just going to open up. And then underneath, you're going to have um, a drawer underneath. And then you're also going to have a optional central vac system. So as we mentioned on the um, off door side, if you have your dust and grime going out into that bay, this is where you're going to sweep that into. So we're actually going to go ahead and flip it up. So you're gonna hear that noise come on, that sweeper's gonna come on along with the lights. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because it's actually super hot um, and we don't need to sweat in this coach. Across from your dry bar and optional fireplace here, you're obviously gonna have your main cooking area. So there's gonna be a couple of life cycle changes as well in here. So first and foremost, you're gonna have your solid surface countertops, which is made in home at Newmar, which is gonna be something that you notice throughout all of our coaches is it's gonna be handmade by all of our employees. Um, and kind of just a fun tidbit for you is most of our employees average about eight years and all of our products go down the same assembly line. So whether it's the Bay Star, the Dutch Star, the New Air, our King Air, it's all gonna touch the same hands and um, everybody is obviously super knowledgeable about that. Staying focused on Newmar Built is going to be our cabinets. So as you open this up, you're gonna see this um, velvet fill in here. Um, it's almost like a carpet. That's obviously gonna mitigate any crashes, keep things standard. You're also gonna have your cabinets and shelves here in house. Along with our cabinets are gonna be screwed and um, glued in, so they're not gonna be stapled. And if you sit here and you tug and you pull, that's not gonna move. Um, so if you walk into competitors, coaches, I encourage you and challenge you to go in and see if you know it's screw glued or if it's stapled and how well that stays on. Along with that, we're gonna have our soft closed cabinets and drawers. So that's gonna go ahead and just close as you saw. Along with that, you're gonna have your new stainless steel faucet. And then one of the coolest features that I personally like is going to be our new rounded um, black stainless steel sink. So sometimes that's not very functional for a lot of people, but for me, I like the look. It's a little bit sleek and sexy, as I mentioned earlier. Along with that, you're gonna have a massive bonded kitchen window here. You're gonna have a really pretty backsplash, which is gonna be that grouted look, which we do in-house here as well. Um, to make room for the new windows and all the natural lighting that we want, we actually raised our cabinets 18 and a half inches up from the um, countertops. Underneath here, you're gonna have storage. We'll point that out. And then over here is going to be your trash can that slides out. Something I want to point out real quick is going to be this QR sticker right here. So it's going to be featured in a couple of the places on your coach. So here in the kitchen, one on your Eurobooth dinette, 
Um, there's gonna be one up front in the cockpit as well. <clears throat> but what that's gonna allow you to do is you're gonna actually take your camera and you're gonna open it up. And this is gonna feature, so it's gonna say, oh, it looks like you're at so-and-so's dealership. I'm just gonna click yes for that purpose. And it's gonna welcome you to the coach that you're in. So for our purpose, it's obviously gonna bring you to the new air. So what it's gonna allow you to do is see all of the floor plans. It's gonna walk you through our star foundation, which we mentioned outside briefly, that comfort drive and adaptive steering, plus a ton of additional um, features like our bay windows and what's new for 2022. So that's available to you if you have any questions on what options or standards come, um, or if you just have questions on your coach specifically, what comes with, you can have access to that. In here, you're gonna have your Samsung microwave, and then you're gonna have a um, all electric induction cooktop. So these are actually gonna be um, removable. And what you're gonna see on the back side of this is going to be cutting boards. So again, that just takes away any extra stuff that you have to bring into the coach and that's going to be a flush look for you as we mentioned the all electric induction cooktop this is actually going to be removable and you can actually take it outside to cook on so if you're cooking fish or bacon um, anything that might be a little bit stinky to some people you can actually go ahead and remove this so it's going to have your two handles on the side it's going to pull out and what you're going to see is a gfci outlet and that's just going to be unplugged and then you can take it outside and cook with just below your microwave and induction cooktop, obviously you're gonna have a ton of storage here. You're gonna see four drawers along with three over here, and this one's gonna be a massive one. It's actually gonna have all of your storage remotes, so anything little you can put in here. Over here, you're gonna have our Samsung residential uh, fridge. So you're gonna be able to lock and unlock this. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up here for you. This obviously has a ton of space, three shelves, a couple drawers, and then it's also going to have your um, freezer underneath. So you're going to have an ice maker that comes with it, and then you're going to have additional storage. Directly across from your kitchen area is going to be your midship bath here. So before we head in there, though, I'm going to point out a couple panels. Again, you're going to have another KIB panel with the LCD touchscreen. But here you're going to notice our new silver leaf panel. So this is going to be able to control your AC is gonna, you're gonna be able to watch your tank levels. Obviously there's your fresh water tank, black and gray. It's gonna watch your water pump, um, your generator, the power, and then climate controls as well. And something that's new for this year is there's actually gonna be a compatible Silverleaf app, which is our systems control app. So it's gonna be compatible with Android or Apple. And basically you download that app and as long as you are in range of your Wi-Fi to the coach, you can actually use it remotely outside and that will again do the same exact features on here just on your device outside we're going to go ahead and move into our midship coach here um, for space purposes i'm going to step into the coach so you guys can see everything so over here starting with our shower you're going to have um, shower tile walls and floors as well along with this you're going to have a foldable shower seat which i'll just go ahead and take it seat in and then you're going to be able to option in an assist handle here you're going to have your soap dispenser so there's a shampoo conditioner body wash the overhead light along with two shower heads so there's going to be one that's um, standstill and then you're going to have one that's retractable and then something you'll see here is going to be our aqua view miser system so underneath here you're going to see this handle so when you're ready to take a shower but you want the hot water maybe you're dry camping and you don't want to lose any water um, obviously because you're dry camping you're going to turn this lever on and what it's going to do is it's going to stop the water from coming out and it's going to shuffle that water through a rotating tube and this is going to be continuous hot water and then once it's hot this little light here is going to turn blue letting you know that hey the shower is ready for you once it's ready you're going to flip that novel over and the water's gonna come out hot and ready for you. And then over here, you're obviously gonna have your commode, you're gonna have your tile floors, you're gonna have um, your 110V outlets here, along with your solid surface countertops, a newly designed kitchen sink that's undermounted here, your vanity with a couple of shelves. There's also gonna be additional outlets on the inside there. Again, another cabinet a towel ring and the hanger, and then you're gonna have a really pretty backsplash in here as well, along with cabinets underneath, and another KIB panel. 
just behind your commode here is going to be your secondary egress door which will we pointed out outside on the off door side so we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how this works for you so first and foremost there's going to be a lock and unlock there's actually going to be two of them so you're going to go ahead and unlock it and then you're also going to have to push this lever to unlock it as well and you're going to open it up and what you're going to see is and a lot of competitors they actually have a one time use door so if there's an emergency and you have to get out quickly this door is actually going to completely fall out and you're going to have to get it replaced for us this is actually just going to be reusable so this is going to be a magnetic time uh, board so you're going to pull that off you can easily set that to the side and then i'll pull it in just so you can see it a little bit better you're going to have your ladder here so you're going to go ahead and take this velcro off and you're simply just going to drop the ladder. So that goes down with um, five easy steps that has a capacity of about 300 pounds. But um, what this can be used for obviously is first and foremost, it's going to be your safety and um, any, if there's a fire or anything and you need a quick escape, you can use this. Um, obviously being a bigger coach, a lot of people, you know, might be bringing stuff into your entry door. You can actually just go ahead and put anything for the bedroom or the bathroom um, and just pass it through. We're going to keep it open and I'll go ahead and demonstrate outside how to close that up later on. And we're just going to keep going here. We're going to work our way back into the master bedroom. But before, I'm going to go ahead and point out our pantry here to the right of your fridge. So your lights are going to come on as that opens. And your shelves here are actually going to be pushed to release. So as you pull this out, um, obviously you can see that they're super long and they're a little bit deep here. But like I said, you're going to have to push in to release it. And then you'll know that it's done because it's going to lock. And again, that just takes away any um, possibility for collision or these bouncing around and moving out about the coach. Moving in here to your master bedroom. So a couple of things you're going to see is going to be obviously your folding chairs here. Um, that's going to be when you extend your Euro booth dinette, you can take those. There's actually going to be storage underneath the bed that you can put those. And then you're also going to see the um, furniture and decor packaged up. So if, um, obviously this is going to be taken down to our dealers and then to our retail uh, customers, we're obviously not going to make the bed. Um, that's going to be in pristine condition for them to use. But option in for this year is going to be our uh, sleep number air mattress that doesn't come standard for this coach but it's nonetheless going to be a king size bed moving up here ahead of the bed you're going to have three windows so you're going to have your side windows and then you're going to have a newly designed top window there which brings in a lot of natural light which i love in the mornings you know i like to wake up with the sun and then along with that newly designed you're also going to have a newly designed headboard which is a really nice um, look up ahead here you're going to have more cabinets you're also going to have um, a little loop here. So if you have like a uh, CPAC system or something and you need to wire that down through so you can sleep a little bit better, that's available to you. Um, in some of these, you're also going to have your um, 110 V outlets. And again, that soft close um, cabinet's going to come throughout the coach. You're going to have new wall sconces with the life cycle change as well. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and have our cameraman go to that side of the table. But as you're looking down um, at your nightstand here, you're going to notice that there's no outlets. So you might wonder, how am I going to plug my phone in? So what you're going to do is actually open that up. And you're going to have your USB outlets along with two 110 outlets. And so that makes it for a really nice sleek look when you're charging your phone. And there's actually that top opening above so you don't ever have to crunch your cords they'll just simply pass through that and that makes it for a not, lot nicer and you again don't have to worry about damaging your cords or bending those and then behind me as we mentioned earlier you're going to see these qr stickers throughout the coach you're going to have a sliding ward back here led lights are going to come on you're going to have plenty of storage and shoe space you're going to have a safe and two hanging rods and then there's also going to be a couple of cabinets in here as well. Um, not that you can use these, but there's going to be your electrical hookups and your house fuse panel here. And something you can option in is going to be a stacked washer and dryer. So this doesn't come uh, standard, but this is going to open together. 
and you can option in the stacked wash and dryer. Otherwise, this is just gonna be a ward for you with a hanging rod. And directly across from here, this, our cabinets and drawers for the bedroom have been redesigned to match the look of our 2021 King Air, um, which meaning is going to be a flush TV in the middle. It's gonna be another 43 inch Samsung TV. You're gonna have your solid surface countertops along with your mink rift high gloss um, drawers and cabinets. And there's gonna be six of those. Staying with the resemblance of the King Air. So our cabinets this year is actually gonna have the look of our 2020 um, King Air before it's changed in 2021. But this obviously again, just adds the sexy and sleek look of the new air for this year. One last thing I wanna touch on in the master bedroom is actually gonna be, again, we talked about the look of the ceiling. That's gonna match back here in the bedroom as it does in your living room and galley area. And then it's also gonna have your ceiling, um, your cathedral ceiling. Um, so if you have someone a little bit taller, you're probably gonna have a good seven to six inch head clearance at its tallest point. Thank you for coming along and joining me to explore the difference of the new Air 3543. Again, it was a life cycle change for the 2022 model year, which is its first since its induction in 2018. Just to summarize a couple things here, since we covered a lot. Um, again, you're gonna have your new designed front and rear caps. You're gonna have your side radiator, your engine access in the back. You're gonna have our Sparta, Sparta graphics um, feature on the outside, as well as our Sparta interior. Moving into the inside here, Again, you're gonna have our Williamsburg furniture. You're gonna have the new bonded windows, which give you a panoramic view and um, a lot of natural light, which gives you kind of a bus-like feel with the new air. Since it's shorter, that is nice. Again, inside, you're gonna have our Mink Rift Oak cabinets. Um, these are the optioned high gloss, but what comes standard is gonna be suede. You're also gonna have new tile floors. Captain seats are gonna be heated and powered. And again, there's just a ton of stuff throughout with the solid surface, the black stainless steel sink, um, your all electric induction cooktop that you can remove and take outside. And then again, you have your tile shower floors and walls. Again, that's a lot to cover in one video, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us at Newmar Sales. We're here to help and make this as enjoyable as possible and always reach out to our Newmar dealers. They're also there to help you and be a resource. My name is Megan Stouter and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.